Having traversed over nearly six miles of beautiful flat, I arrived at the river and saw from the continuation of the same plain for at least six miles more to the foot of the hills under Mount Lofty, affording an immense plain of level and advantageous ground for occupation. Employed nearly all day examining the plain and looking out for the best situation for the capital, I was delighted with the appearance of the country and the supply of fresh water we were certain of possessing and on the 3rd of January, 1837, I removed my tent to the ground where I might be near my work. My mind was made up fully to the permanent settlement. Light survey camp was situated near the corner of North and West Terraces, from which point the survey was commenced on the 11th of January, 1837. Adelaide was designed by using the chain system. A chain is 22 yards and surveyors in the day simply laid this chain out and pegged it at each point to form the overall dimensions. In the plan of Adelaide, there is a strong street hierarchy and the streets are designed on two chains, one and a half chains and one chain. With the terraces and King William Street, the most important streets given the two chain dimension. 3.2 chains light would have placed a larger peg to define a one acre parcel length. Light's plan was designed originally to provide just over 1,000 one acre parcels. It was a tiring and onerous task in the summer heat. With inadequate food and time and no transport apart from a few hand carts or wheelbarrows. As Light noted, some thought it could be done in a few days. Mm -hmm. 